You looking to build a beehive that's cheap, easy, and any fool can do it? Stick around. How's it going? Welcome back. You're watching the Green Dream Project. Jim here. And Jessica. A little while back, we had an issue with bees. We're gonna start building some hives, am I right? We still don't know what's underneath the shed floor and we're gonna probably tear that up eventually, find out what's in there and there could be bees in there, right? If not, we'll wanna see what is in there, if there's any comb or anything. Exactly, what, what exactly is down there? So stay tuned for that, cause that should be exciting. What's underneath the shed? Maybe it's Jimmy Hoffa's body, I don't know. Anyway, where were we? Bees. Bees. And if there's no bees under there, if, there's, if they have all evacuated or absconded, that's your word for the day, absconded. But if they have all left, we'll be ready with a couple of hives in case some more random swarms come back and they find that attractive, right? We'll be ready for the next bee swarm. We're gonna build some beehives. We're gonna take you along. Top bar beehives, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right. Let's get to building some top bar beehives. So I got my plywood here. This is basically gonna be most of the material for the top bar beehive. So I'm cutting all the pieces we need for our hives. Now remember, I'm cutting twice as many that you would need for one hive because we're building two hives. So all the pieces are being doubled. I'm cutting this first set at 14 and a half inches by 12 inches. This next set is two pieces, 10 inches by 41 inches. This next set, I'm cutting four pieces at 12 inch by 41 inch length. This next set is nine inches by 43 inches, and I'm cutting two of those. Now this last one is the craziest. Normally, you'd have to make 28 of these cuts, but I need 56 of these pieces. And these are 19 inch by one and three eighths inch. Now all the plywood that we're using for this is just a little over three quarter inch. The plans that we saw recommend one inch if possible, but we got as close as we could. So now I'm cutting the end pieces. What I've done is make a mark two and a quarter inches from each side. Then I drew a line from the bottom corner up to the mark I made. We're gonna make some angle cuts. We're gonna make these sides. Oh yeah. So what I got here is the bottom of the hive. Now these boards are gonna have to be beveled slowly to match the angle of the sides I just cut. So I'm gonna have to get the right angle on the table saw and run these through just to give it a little bit of a bevel. Now I'm gonna drill one inch holes into one of the sides. This is for little bee entrances. <laughs> I'm gonna come in three inches from each side. Then I'm going to come up two inches from the bottom. That's where I'll be sticking these holes. Sorry Dahlia, welcome to Chickenlandia. No hole those are needed for this one. <laughs> Now I'm attaching this side, put glue around the edges, and I'll screw them in place every three inches. Number 
protection on. Ear protection in. You're making little cuts down the uh, the center of the bars, right? Yep. You set up your guide here. Try and get this uh, close to the center as you can, right? Let's see a little bit of that action. Shake it off. So we're getting down to the wire. Now I'm putting the foundations inside the bars. So they end up looking a little like this. Or, well, exactly like this. <laughs> and it's pretty easy to do. Again, we cut up those foundations, but they're still a little long for the, the boxes that we made. So we've been cutting them down to 13 and a half inches rather than 16 inches. Just snip the tip. Now we've been using wood glue to keep the foundations in there. I usually use the tape measure just to center it. It's about two and three quarter inches on either side. Now we're using wood glue, but if you're not comfortable with using wood glue inside your hive, you can also use beeswax for a non-toxic alternative. Now gluing those took a lot of time, but it also made a pretty big mess. I honestly don't know how those chips made it that far away from where I was sitting. But that's okay, because uh, we've got a volunteer to help clean, right? <laughs> I guess that's my job too. I made the mess. Gotta clean it up. But later. First, I'm gonna take you on the last couple parts of this build. So of course if you're building your top bar hives, you probably want to protect the outside somehow. You could probably paint it or stain it or something like that. Like usual, we're going to burn ours. Of course it was kind of a last minute decision on how to protect this wood. You probably want to usually burn it before putting everything together, but here we are. <laughs> so I'm going to give it a quick burn, maybe nothing really too heavy, and then uh, we should be good to go to the next step. So of course we've been burning wood for a while to protect it. But the look of this on the plywood, I love this pattern. Definitely really gives it a unique character. So luckily we had some old galvanized metal from a previous build. That's the kind of cool thing about this project. Just find some old roofing material, cut it up, you're good to go. But it'll give us plenty of room on all sides. It should give us like two to three inches of overhang on each side. Got my tin snips, very easy, but always be very careful when cutting metal. I mean, this stuff is sharp to begin with, but when you start cutting at it with this thing, I mean, that, that edge is sharp. Safety first. Time to load up these bars and we'll finish this off. Let's see how the finished product looks. All right, I'll place the lid, top of the hive like so. So the finishing touch, or the coup de grace, if you will, the metal. In the near future, I'm probably gonna see if I can get some tiny roofing screws to put that in here into the board. I don't got anything on me. So I'm gonna place these rocks on there, which should be enough uh, way to uh, keep the metal secure. Voila. So that's pretty much it for this build. As you can see, I stacked the hives on top of a couple cinder blocks. Those act as the legs for the hive. Very easy to construct. Didn't take too much time. Like the most time consuming was uh, putting all the uh, foundations into the bars, but uh, it's ready to go for bees. Now this is a pretty nice home. Hopefully a wild swarm doesn't move in here before uh, we can double check the shed and make sure there are no bees there. <laughs> so it's ready to go. This will not be the final resting place for the hives. We're gonna take it over to the field of acacias over there because where you set the hives is very important for the bees. Over here, where we're living in the high desert, we got a lot of sun, a lot of wind. We just wanna buffer that a little bit to give the bees a nice little home. But thanks a lot for sticking around for this build. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below. We'll try to answer them as best we can. We'll leave a little material list down below just on the sizes that we use to cut this. Of course, you can adjust things as you want to fit your own particular needs. So thanks a lot 
And as always, you can find us at the same off-grid time at the same off-grid channel. Now stick around because we got the bee vacuum build coming up real soon. You're gonna, you're gonna wanna see that. <laughs> All right, bye everyone.